Are things a bit tough for you at the moment? Is there a little too much drama in your life? Well, don't worry, we can help. Because we've been there. Done that. Okay, Tegan, today's problem is my friends are peer pressuring me a lot and I don't know what to do. That one's a tricky one. So, Paul, I remember a time very well when I felt like I was peer pressured. I really felt pressured by friends. I think I was maybe about 11 in that sort of area there. Okay. And I was going to have a sleepover at my friend's house. And next door, her neighbours, they were having a party that night. And there were a few kids who lived next door and my friend's mum, she was like, yes, you can go and spend some time over at the party, which right. was really great. It was a bit of a big thing that we were allowed to head over there. Mm -hmm. So we went next door. And what happened is the guy that lived next door, he, um, at one point, he came up to us and he's like, follow me, we're going out to the garage. And what had happened was is he had stolen a bottle of alcohol from his dad. I know, he'd stolen this alcohol. So all of a sudden there were all these kids and we're all hanging out in the garage and <laughs> they were passing the alcohol round. And I, I'm gonna be honest, I, I didn't want to drink any. I had not drunk any alcohol up to that point. There are still some alcohols where I smell them. I'm like, that smells like the worst thing. I do not want to drink that. <laughs> but it, it kind of felt like if you wanted to be in on the moment, if you wanted to be cool and if you wanted to be part of that whole situation, you had to take a swig, you had to have a drink from this bottle. And I, I really didn't, and the, the, the bottle was getting closer and closer to me. And in the end, I, I left. I went back to my, my friend's house. I kind of sat by myself for a while. Right. And I didn't feel cool. I didn't feel like I'd won at that moment. But looking back, that was definitely the right choice for me. And I, I do feel proud of myself that that I took the harder road, which was to walk away and was to be a little bit uncool, but I didn't give in to something and do something that I didn't feel comfortable doing. That's, you know what? I'm gonna say this. I'm very proud of you, Tegan. Ah. I'm very proud of you. And as a reward, I'm gonna give you this delicious apple. It's not a real apple. It's not a real apple. So pressure, it can be a really, really difficult thing to deal with, but it's important knowing that there are different kinds of pressure. The first is the big, the big obvious one. It's, it's spoken pressure. Yeah. It's when somebody says to you directly, if you don't do this thing, you are gonna be in trouble or you're not gonna be allowed to be in our friendship group or we're gonna think that you're dumb or something like that. Those sorts of spoken pressure, they're the big obvious ones and it's really important to identify them and speak out if you feel that you're in that situation. Mm -hmm. The other one that can sometimes be a bit trickier is the unspoken pressure. That's when you're with a group and they're all, you know, maybe like everybody decides to skip a class and they all go out and you just kind of, although nobody's saying it, you kind of feel like if you don't go with them, it's going to be a thing. Yeah. There's unspoken pressure as well and it's important to identify that as well. Yeah, just keeping an eye out for the implied threat of being left out of something if you don't do a certain thing. Well, come on, Timmy, we're all going to the abandoned haunted quarry. <laughs> Don't go to the quarry. Yeah. It's haunted. It was in the title. Don't go to the haunted quarry. Timmy, just as a general rule, avoid quarries. Now, here's another piece of advice. Uh, know yourself. It's much easier to stand up to peer pressure if you know how you actually feel yeah. about things and where you stand on certain things. So if you if you figured out that you're the kind of person that doesn't like doing a certain thing and then there's peer pressure pushing you towards that, you're going to feel a lot sounder and a lot safer because you've already established how you feel about that. And sometimes that comes down to thinking ahead and avoid situations where you might be peer, peer pressured and either avoid them altogether or figure out what you might like to say. Absolutely. And there's really, really good good ways to, you know, to respond to peer pressure, like assertive behaviour, by which I mean assertive, not aggressive. That's very different. Yes. Assertive behaviour is like, let's say somebody comes up to you and starts to, you know, uh, pressure you into something. A really good way to respond is to physically, you know, plant yourself, put your feet a certain distance apart, shoulder width, and then stand up as tall as you can, make eye contact, because often the way you respond to pressure verbally and physically yeah. is very, very effective in shutting pressure down. Because this is the thing about peer pressure, it is a form of bullying. Yeah. It really is. And I I always like to, I like to assume the better side of people will prevail. Yeah. Sometimes people may not even realise that they're bullying you. They may not realise that by pressuring you, they are, they are making your life really difficult. So sometimes just talking about how it makes you feel, taking your time, explaining that, hey, I'm, I'm feeling bullied into doing this, that alone could be enough to stop the situation. Mm. But if that doesn't work, that's when you maybe, maybe come to that point where you start involving somebody else, an adult, a teacher, you know, speaking to your grandparents. It could be that point where you do involve somebody else. Problem solved. Class dismissed. So, 
Paul, peer pressure, what did we learn? We learned it's a very bad thing. It is a bad thing. For example, if I tried to peer pressure you into, say, eating this piece of chalk, what would you do, Paul? Don't eat chalk. It's pretty dry. Yes, I, it's chalk, Paul. I immediately regret this decision.